hi guys welcome to my youtube channel and in this video we will briefly discuss about past papers in which first question is that find out the units of 1 by 2 rho v square it is a Bernoulli principle which is related to power or energy or pressure we need to calculate the units of every term first of all we need to calculate the units of this expression 1 by 2 rho v square 1 by 2 rho v square is a expression of Bernoulli equation so rho is a density which has units of mass per unit volume and velocity v square so we will extract its units from this one mass has units of kilogram volume has units of meter cube so velocity has unit of meter per second and it is whole square don't forget to put whole square so kilogram per meter cube and meter square and per second square s minus 2 so if we join this it will become kilogram m minus 1 because if joining this s minus 2 this is a unit for this expression so we need to calculate the units of power units of energy units of pressure and we will match that which unit is best suitable and which is equal to this expression so the unit of power is uh, calculated from its formula p is equal to f dot v so units of force is energy units of force is newton and velocity has unit of meter per second so if we open this the newton is kilogram meter per second square and velocity has unit of meter per second and if we join this the final term will be kilogram meter square s minus 3 per meter cube per second cube so this unit and these units are not relatable or not equal so power is not match with this expression so we will try for units of energy units of energy come from half mv square which is kinetic energy or we can also calculate from potential energy mgh so unit of mass is kilogram and unit of velocity is meter per second and it is whole square and it is whole square so if we open this it will become kilogram meter square per second square but it is not equal to the previous expression it is meter inverse so this is not a matchable quantity so only we have a quantity of pressure so it will be ex extracted from its units or formula for pressure pressure is equal to force per unit area and the unit of force is newton and area has a unit meter square so newton per meter square if we open this of, from newton newton has units kilogram meter per second square and this is per meter square for area so if we join this it will become kilogram per meter m inverse and s minus 2 which is equal to or similar to that expression of units so this is the final answer of this question or this is the right answer you can take this in the question 2 it is asked that what is the base unit of spring constant what we need to understand that what is spring constant it is a k according to Hooke's law we we need to understand that what is the value of k so according to Hooke's law f is equal to minus kx is the expression so we are dealing with units so uh, units of k we will ignore the value of minus so f is equal to kx or k is equal to f over x so negative sign can be neglected in case of units so units of force is newton and unit of x or distance or displacement is meter it is newton per meter or if you open the value of newton it is kilogram meter per second square over meter so meter can be cancelled out from this expression and the final term will be or the units of k or spring constant is equal to k kilogram per second square this is the final answer you can take this answer in the exam
and in the next question we have given a pair of quantities in which we need to match the units unit of force unit of torque is it matchable unit of force is newton we know we all know that and the unit of torque is newton meter which is joule so these two quantities are not equal so we can say that this these are not equal and it is not a right answer so in the second case we, we, if we see that the work and power has the same unit we ask and work has a unit of joule and power has a unit of joule into second so you can see that these two quantities are not equal and it is not a right answer the only thing is that we need to calculate the unit of momentum and impulse momentum has a formula p is equal to m multiplied by v and mass has a unit of kilogram and velocity has a unit of meter per second so it is its base units are kilogram meter per second and if we talk about impulse impulse is a cross product of force multiplied by distance which is equal to momentum or linear momentum so force has a unit of newton and time has a unit of second if we open the value of newton it will be kilogram meter squared meter per second squared multiplied by second so if we join this or simplify this the final answer will be kilogram meter s minus one which is equal to that unit of momentum and it is a right answer you can take this answer in the exam in the next question we are asked that what is the expression for the centripetal force so we all know that expression for the centripetal force fc is equal to mv square over r so this in this expression all the terms are linear quantities so we also deal with angular motion or circular motion uh, in the uh, in the book or in the exams also so uh, in the if we are not given this expression in the paper you can convert it v is equal to r omega and if we replace this v square is equal to r square omega square we can we can replace this expression velocity and we will put in in this expression fc is equal to m r square and omega square over r so from this expression r can be cancelled out by one r the final expression for the centripetal force is equal to fc is equal to m r and omega square which is final expression and you can take this answer in the entry test exam and board exam also in the next question we are asked that what is a cross product of j cross k so we if we if we are dealing with cross product we need to understand one thing it is it should be anti clockwise you can draw a circle in anti clockwise direction and put the unit vectors in that places so the unit vectors are placed accordingly in the anti clockwise direction i j and k if we are asked that j cross k in the anti clockwise direction so the j cross k final answer is i so in this in the books or in the exam you can put the value of i uh, if you ask that j cross k so if we go the anti clock or clockwise direction opposite to this k cross j we are asked that it will be negative sign due to opposite uh, direction of motion so final answer is uh, j cross k is i in the next question we are asked that it is a very conceptual question we are asked that what is the value of one kilometer whole square is equal to so if we open the value of one kilometer whole square so we will write that one kilometer multiply by one kilometer separately in order to understand or in order to con for our convenience so it will increase your speed in the exam one kilometer is equal to one thousand meters so we can i i want to combine this 1000 meter multiply by 1000 meter so it was a whole square so it will be multiplied twice so meter will be multiplied by meter it will become meter square and 1000 multiplied by 1000 and increase in number of zeros after one so three zeros and three zeros it will become a total six zeros and it will final answer will be 10 raised to the power 6 in scientific notation 10 raised to the power 6 meter square you can put this in the exam or you can take it first and the next question is that what is the distance between two adjacent node and anti node 
this is a question from the wave motion chapter so uh, the final answer or the our concern is that we need to make a string of two uh, make the two fixed point and make a string and make a wave in these two fixed points so the extreme points are known as nodes and uh, these are fixed point and the middle point is known as antinode which is a mean point and in this case the uh, distance between two nodes is lambda by 2 and the distance between two adjacent node and antinode is a half of the lambda by 2 which will be lambda by 2 divided by 2 half of the lambda by 2 and it will be lambda by 4 and final answer is lambda by 4 you can take it in the exam so the next question is about the circular motion in which you are asked that what is the ratio of disk velocity and the velocity of hoop so first of all we need to know or we need to learn about the formula of velocity of disk and velocity of hoop which is equal to 4 by 3 gh square root and velocity of hoop is equal to only gh square root so we are asked that what is the ratio of velocity disk so we will put the velocity disk on the upper side and velocity of hoop on the downside so velocity of disk is equal to 4 by 3 gh square root over velocity of hoop is which is equal to only gh square root so we need to cancel some of terms from this expression so velocity of disk is equal to 4 by 3 gh for our convenience i will separate this 4 by 3 into gh square root over gh square root and in this expression you see that gh can be cancelled out from the gh and only 4 by 3 is remaining which is the final answer or 1.15 in this expression it is the final answer and you can take this in the exam the next question is that uh, if rx and ry are both negative the which, in which quadrant they lie or vector lies first of all we will draw a coordinate coordinate system or rectangular coordinate system in which first quadrant second quadrant third quadrant and fourth quadrant are mentioned uh, in this case uh, and this is known as rx or horizontal and this is known as ry or horizontal vertical axis so in the first quadrant rx is going to be positive direction and ry is also a positive direction in the, we can also say that both are positive in the second quadrant rx is going to be negative direction rx is negative and ry is positive so in the third quadrant we you see that rx is negative going to be negative side and ry is also downward side or going to be negative side so both are negative in the third case and in the fourth case ry is going to be positive direction and rx is ry is going to be downward and which is negative direction so we are asked that both are negative rx and ry are negative so in the third quadrant these are negative and the final answer is third quadrant up till now we have finished about the past paper revision and if you like our video you can subscribe our channel for more videos and you can contact me see you soon bye bye